Well, I guess it started because we realized that there were no books about positive aspects of the mother-daughter relationship <laughs> around, and we had always sort of loved Irma Bombeck, and so we got this idea to write really parts of our lives. The, the newest one is called Have a Nice Guilt Trip, <laughs> and she thinks of all the titles. <laughs> you should worry as a mom when your kid comes up with a title like Have a Nice Guilt Trip. I don't know. But it's kind of dad humor with the joke, with the titles at least, but yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, puns. But yeah, this is it's really fun. It's we wanted to show that mother daughter relationship that is definitely not perfect, and we have our bumps in the road. And it's helpful now that I'm across state lines living <laughs> somewhere else. But it's not exactly mother, mommy dearest. I was going to say before she lunged for my throat. <laughs> no worries. So yeah, that's that's a sample of what the humor is like. Of these books did start as a column, and it started because we were looking at the newspaper, and frankly, we're thinking there's not a lot about there's not a lot of women's voices in this newspaper, and also let's face it, the news is kind of sucky like all the time. It never <laughs> changes the economy, the wars, everything is kind of just a cycle of suckage, and where's the humor? <laughs> like, what can we bring to this? Yeah. So we started it as a column, and we both write it. The column is called Chick Wit. Yeah. And it, it just it grew from there. And now in the books, we write a lot of new material. I mean, a majority of new material in the books. And that's it's great because then you can write about things that maybe you know it's not quite fit to print. Can get even more exactly. Exciting. So, well, that's fun. the great thing about books in general. And we talk about this a lot that you they really are about voice and voices related to truth. And we're very lucky in that to have these in the books and St. Martin's publishes them that nobody censors us. So we're really going to write about we and I think we tell it true. We fight, yeah. um, we tell the, the good and the bad, right. but it's always entertaining. And you taught me that. I mean, if it doesn't make you Thank a you. little uncomfortable to write it, like a little cringy for yourself, it's probably not worth writing or it's not going there enough. So we really try to be vulnerable and open up. And I've been so touched by readers who then open up to us and you feel that connection even better. Yes, that's right. Of what the humor is like. And the truth is, I'm a big, I mean, I've been writing novels for a while and I've always sort of used humor in the characters. And I sort of secretly think that, that it helps people relate to the character better, it draws them in a little bit. And so you have to say something true in it. And I think even though these stories are funny, I think there's a lot of important humor. So we always write about, you know, what it's like to, well, she writes about, well, I'll let you talk about that, but I write about what it's like, you know, to get divorced and have a daughter and my, my mother was ill and passed away and we write about serious stuff, the stuff of real life, but it's in, it's in the lighter side for the most part. In my view, yeah. I don't, I don't think so because we're super tight. I feel like you can say, but I yeah, no. I mean, it can't get any real <laughs> than really? our audience between <laughs> us. You know, we were there. Um, now we're just sharing it. But you know, I mean, I do think that there is honestly, there's a little a secret benefit to us that we didn't really anticipate. I think in writing it because it, whenever you write something, it makes you step back, and it usually only makes me realize how stupid our arguments are even more. <laughs> so maybe it's like family therapy in print. But it <laughs> right, works exactly. That way.